It's your bandito Carlitos coming at you with the highly anticipated Diego Pato 2.0. Let's dive right in. In our last look at Diego, we talked about his use of the false rig to set up his signature knee bar as well as his use of the K-Guard. Diego's definitely added multiple layers of complexity to his leg lock game in order to stand out amongst the best in the world, but we're going to start by taking a look at his false reap. If you're unfamiliar with the false reap, it's a leg lock system popularized by Kieran Kachuk and Craig Jones, essentially a counter to the knee slice when you're holding onto the outside of your opponent's knee and you swing that top leg over the, the near side leg and underneath the far side leg, creating this false reap position. Once in the false reap position, all a grappler has to do is invert towards their opponent and free their bottom leg from the opponent's butterfly. This often results in heel exposure, but also entrance into positions like inside Senkaku or backside 50-50, depending on how spicy you like it. Diego set himself apart early on in the false reap game, where most would triangle their legs for an inside Senkaku here or attack a backside 50-50, Diego decides to cross his ankles at the hip and keep his arm in this shotgun position in order to attack a knee bar for the finish. Here we see a more typical entry from Diego. He's in this quarter Z position on bottom. Kennedy's pressuring forward. He needs to get that top leg over Kennedy's shoulder and in between the legs at the moment. We see Diego start by snapping the head and reaching for the far leg. This keeps Kennedy from thinking about that top leg that's gonna swing over his shoulder. At this point, Diego just needs to get his hands together around Kennedy's knee. He sets it up with a head snap, then reaches between his own legs and grabs Kennedy's knee. From here, he frees his bottom hand and establishes his gable grip. With the gable grip, Diego inverts, elevating with his inside butterfly between Kennedy's legs, as well as bouncing on the ball of his outside foot in order to free his butterfly for the entry. A fascinating layer that Diego's added to his leg lock game is the use of this far side K guard position, which gives him access to both his false reap and his K guard entries, making him insanely dangerous as well as unpredictable. Diego will use his K-Guard attacks to create space as well as establish the threat of submission. Opponents that respect this threat will often retreat and sometimes attack his own legs. Either way, it creates the opening for Diego to attack the false reap on their way back in. This makes it very difficult to pressure Diego without getting stuck in his false reap or his far side K guard position. In part 2 of this video, we'll examine Diego Bato's signature angle lock, his Z lock, and his barambolo approach to leg lock entries. As always, thank you for watching. Follow me on IG at BanditoCarlitos10P. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace!